Hello students, once again this is Mr David giving you the news during the coronavirus closure of schools and we give our thanks to BBC News. Uh, this is a one minute video about how staying at home can stop coronavirus. There are some subtitles, we call these the subtitles and it's a one minute video and I'll help to explain some of the vocabulary. So let's go for it. A big problem with coronavirus is you can have it and not know about it. It means you can go about your day as you've always done, feel completely fine. So there you can see the coronavirus. In case you're wondering why it's called coronavirus, the word corona means sun. So it looks like a sun, okay? A sun virus or coronavirus. But actually infect around two to three people. You can infect two to three people within a week. So basically infect means to pass the germs. If, say, this person has coronavirus, this person does not. Shake hands, hello, how are you? And now everyone has coronavirus. That's infecting. Within a week. What happens then is those people you infected... So look, if one person infects three people, and then these three people infect three more people, and that's how the virus spreads, OK? One becomes three, becomes nine. This is mathematics, yeah? ...go on to infect another two to three people each. And then those people will infect others, and that's how the virus spreads. But look at what happens when people stay at home. So now people are saying stay at home. OK, we call this self-isolating or social distancing. OK, Ke keeping away from other people. We hear about this word a lot, social distancing. Let's see what happens now. And practice social distancing. For instance, if this person didn't go round to their friend's house, if this person worked from home, if this person didn't go to the corner shop, if this person didn't visit their mum. This reduces the number of cases from 406 to just 15. So look, these are the people that we saw here. Three become, one becomes three, becomes nine, etc, etc. Becomes a total of 406 infections if you do not have social distancing. However, if people stay at home and less people, then you only have 15, you see. 406 compared to 15, a big difference. As the number of cases goes down, so does the pressure on doctors and nurses and on our health service. This will make the difference between people living and people dying. You can go out to exercise once a day or fetch food or medicine, but only with people you live with. In short, stay at home as much as possible. It will save lives. OK, so that's the message today. Uh, very short, but basically social distancing, it works. So peace out. Make sure you wash your hands and stay healthy.